Sneaker Addicts. What's up? It's your boy, DJ Dells. Let me shut this light off. What's going on? What's going on? We're going to talk about these shoes. I got tons of detailed images. So we're going to really look into these bitches right here. And um, five minute mark, I got some heat for your feet. So make sure to stay tuned every five minute mark. Oh, what's going on here? Hold on one second. <laughs> I had the other window open. I don't know if you guys heard the echoing, but um, yeah, five minute mark. I'll show you a pair of shoes from my collection. And uh, we always do this all the time on the live stream. So make sure to watch all the live streams, even if it's a topic you may not be too crazy about. So let's open this up. We're at sneakeratic.com. I'm going to take a look at all of these images. Let me just get there real quick. Bear with me. And now we'll take a look. So there is one image. One thing for sure, one thing for certain, when you look at these, the shape is totally different. So you see how the shape is on this thing. Definitely got a different shape to it. Some may like it, some may not like it. Let me know how you feel about it. As far as the, as far as the materials, they look pretty dope. Um, the outsole is got like, um, it's kind of like a pistachio off-white kind of um, um, sail, dark sail vibe to it. You see you have your translucent hit and it's completely solid on that wing area going to the laces. It's just a solid piece. So um, there's no window area cut out. They just kept it the solid piece. And then um, you have behind it, you have your uh, branding behind it by that white netting. And then you have on the tongue, you have the Air Jordan tag that you usually see on the back, it's on the front of it. So they kind of did the switch of Ruski on us on the tongue right there, which is interesting. Uh, you know, this is a, an artistic take on the four. This is how you got to look at it. Some are going to say this is complete dog shit. Some people are going to praise it. I definitely want to know how you feel about it. Ali Frazier, what's up? What's up? And Don Camillo, what's up? What's up? Big fan after seeing these pictures. Yeah, we got amazing pictures. So we're really going to like dive into this shoe right here for sure. DJ, what's up? How's it going, bro? These are fire. Allie says no look past. And um, happy birthday. Your birthday was yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, Allie. Right? If Correct me if I'm wrong. If so, happy birthday, man. He says this sneaker is very interesting. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to dog the shoe. It's just sometimes you, get, you see something like this, you got to absorb it. You know, you got to absorb it. So I'm not just going to say, ah, this is trash. It's not like, you know, the original, the OG Jordans and this, that, and the third. I'm going to absorb this whole thing and give it, give it a little bit of time. And we're going to come back to it, of course, and we're going to reflect more when we get the on-foot images. You see we have Nike Air on the back of the shoe right there, which is always a plus, right? We love the Nike Air on the back, and we'll see what we got here. Here is another image. Shout out to Clark Kent. So right here, we could really zoom up in there so you can see the tongue, how they have the patchwork from the back. They put it on the front. You know what I mean? Um, how do you feel about the tongue right there? Are you guys digging that or not so much? Um, one thing that I, I always say on a lot of my reviews in the past two years, the thing I don't like about the Jordan 4 after owning so many pairs of them, I always felt like the tongue on the Jordan 4 was a little too high. Some of you are going to agree with me. Some of you are going to disagree with me, and that's fine. This is an opinion show. I have my opinion. You, the people, have your opinions. But I always felt like the Jordan 4's tongue was super high. Okay, Ali, happy birthday, brother. Happy birthday, my friend. Don says, no look passing them to me. And he got the laugh some, uh, emoji face says, these are um, fire, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, my man, what's up? What's up with you? What's up? And keep in mind, we do have Super Chat. We have Cash App. Show that love and support. And um, also, hit the thumbs up button. Let's get a lot of likes. You know how it goes. The more likes, the more views. So please. And um, the more views, the more dough to put into this channel. And I can review more shoes. So let's do this. Uh, definitely, I will cop just like I will cop two pairs of the off-white Jordan 4s. And we will get to those 4s momentarily. So hang out. We're going to cover a few things as long as the energy is proper here. So make sure to show that energy here in the live chat. 
And um, it's in your hands, the show. It always is. What's up, Andrew? Joker Nation says this. Oh, yeah, we were we got there. Okay. So let's get to the sneaker of the stream now. Now, I didn't even realize. I think these are dead stock. I think I have two pairs of these, and I just didn't remember. Um, I'm pretty sure these may be dead stock because I was looking through my sneakers. I was like, whoa. I was like, damn, I forgot all about these. I don't know if some of you are going to see this, and you're going to be like, damn, dude. Um, and I think they're, yeah, they are dead stock because I have them in the Ziploc bag right here. And I, I try to keep them in the Ziploc bag because the, you know, the box, I always say in the paper, it's like cancer to a sneaker where it starts rotting. And then you have that, that, that box that's slowly, you know, dis, um, you know, turning into nothing. You know, th this is going to disintegrate this, this box. Everything does you, me, sneaker boxes, sneakers, we all disintegrate, right? So after time, you don't want these sneakers just sitting in something like that. So you keep them in the plastic. Don't let it touch that cardboard as much as I love the box. So, um, and more ways than one, too. I love the box. Yes. Uh, so, <laughs> so, yeah. So check it out what we got here, man. We got the Varsity Red Air Jordan 6. Now, when they first released the Varsity Reds in the black and then in this white coat where a lot of people were a little disappointed because of the fact that, you know, it was um, not the OG with the infrared, but then people realize that it's red. It's a damn varsity red. So this is like so matching with like Chicago Bulls colors and any kind of, you know, fit where you have white and red. And then people really started appreciating the shoe more, including myself. Look how clean that outsole is still, man. I mean, really not much yellowing at all on it. I mean, I really took good care of this. I can see, though, the paint is beginning to feel a little sticky, and it's peeling a little bit over here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it just because, you know, I'm on a webcam right now. But um, all in all, man, dead stock pair of Varsity Red 6s right here. And um, I know some people say, yo, let me buy those. Everything is for sale. Everything's got a price, like the Million Dollar Man says. My Instagram is like the Cash App, Real DJ Dell. So if anyone wants to cop these, you can always hit me up. But I'm, I really don't want to sell them. But everything does have a price. So if you offer me a price I cannot refuse, they could be yours. This is a size nine and a half. And um, yeah, man, I think I have two pairs of these. I'm pretty sure I have a, a pair I've worn already. And now, and this is a dead stock pair. Now, is this wearable? That's questionable. Will the paint chip as soon as I start wearing them? Possibly, because I didn't do what I use. What I do now is when I buy a pair of shoes, I put, I wear them. I try them on. I wear them around the house for a little bit of time. Make sure to break in, you know, and, and put some pressure, apply pressure to that midsole. So now that you know, when I got these, I wasn't doing that. This shoe I got. Let's see when the production date is on this. The production date is um, 1-13-10, and they finished on 2-26-10, So these released, I'm pretty sure, in 2010, these shoes. That feels right, 2010. And um, I never tried these on, right? So for the first time, they're going to feel pressure 10 years later. This is a 10-year-old sneaker, guys, never worn. So... You know, you're rolling the dice when you're buying a 10-year-old sneaker that's dead stock because you don't know what's going to happen with this midsole. Um, I kept this pretty much in a room temperature situation, but still, you just never know. But, yeah, this is the sneaker of the stream. If you love what I show you, damn what, hit that thumbs up. I'm looking at them thumbs ups, making me want to damn what, shut this camera off right now. We can do better, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> can we do better? Come on, sneaker addicts. Can we do better? Now, Harv, what's up? What's up, man? Graham, my guy. He says, I passed the varsity red pack back then. This isn't the pack, though. This isn't the pack. This is the individual shoe right here. I know what you're talking oh, oh, You may be just calling it a pack. I think that's what you're doing. Because then I got confused. They released the pack, but it was an infrared but the, the infrared wasn't as bright as when they retroed them again later on. What do you think resale will be on these? Them um, Jordan 1 unions are going for serious money. These will go for serious money, too. These are going to go for big, big money, man. Big, big money. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. This is big money. Eric, what's up, my guy? Cooking it up, man. I see you. He said, thank you for the 
Funko Pop link. These are fire to me. Yes, man. Uh, make sure you guys are following my Twitter at DJDELZ because I post tons of deals. $10. This guy was able to get two Funko Pops, a t shirt, and something else, a keychain or something like that for 10 freaking dollars. And there's still tons of deals. I actually have that deal pinned to my, my um, Twitter. So follow my Twitter. Um, but yeah, man, just want to see what's going on. Rob, what's up, man? What's up? What's up? What's up? I like to throw everyone's um, stuff on there. I'll try to get to everyone. These are hurting my eyes, literally. These They butchered these classics. <laughs> this is still a trend. I think it is a trend. And um, why do you think that this is embraced now, guys? Let's um, let's get some better images going. Because we just, ah, shit. Hold on one second. Let's zoom this. Let's get that where we can see the whole shoe. Why do why is this acceptable now? I want to ask you guys this question. Because to me, if we went five, six years ago, I think people would be trashing these things. Like, yo, they disrespecting the classics. This is an OG. Is it because of the fact you have influencers pushing these things? That's why it's more acceptable now. Um, I like that people just wear what they like. I love that in 2020. I love that people are actually wearing uh, like Jordan mids now. Like they don't care that it doesn't have the Nike Air branding on the tongue. I think that's dope, man. I think that's really dope that people got a mind of their own. And I know I'm not saying that just because you don't like mids or you like these that you don't have a mind of your own. But I feel like there's a lot of sheep activity going on where people just run with what's hype. But at the same time, if this didn't have the off-white, um, excuse me, the union, excuse me. If this didn't have the union vibe to it, I would have an off-white in the back of my head because I'm going to show you the off-white fours in a minute. If this didn't have that kind of connection, would people even rock with this sneaker? If this didn't, if this had no kind of connection to the whole fact that the union one sold out, sold, and um, now they're worth tons of money now, do you think people would embrace this shoe? And um, do you, I, I don't think that people four, five to eight, nine years ago would look at this shoe and say, holy crap, I need this. I'm trying to edit myself so I don't curse, so I don't get demonetized. I, I think that it's just a new day and age, man. I really do. I think it's a new day and age. Let me know what you guys think in the chat. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And um, once again, I'm going to try to get to everyone's comments here. What's up? What's up to everyone here? Yeah, they look good for 10 years old, those sneakers, that is. They look pretty damn good. I will say that, man. Let's see what we got here. Client Paperboy says, eh, I could care less. Saves me some money. I'm not copying them. But the truth of the matter is that a lot of people aren't going to be able to cop these, even if you wanted to cop them. This is going to be a very difficult pickup. This is not going to be a walk in the park to buy these guys. This is going to be a difficult situation. Why am I actually liking these? They have a playful vibe. Dude, you like what you like, man. You like what you like. There's nothing wrong with it. You have to change it up. What do you mean, brother? He said barbershop special. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some people, you you bring these back five, ten years, people are going to say these look like bootleg sneakers, some real silly shit, you know? But now people are embracing all this. They are. They are. They are embracing all this. You go back, you would be the laughing stock of the, of the block if you wore these, you know? Okay, John Walker doesn't like the tongue. I mean, the tongue, it's a little weird, you know? You haven't flipped around with that. I, I don't know, man. But I, but you see what he did? He he has the tongue matching the midsole, which I'm not mad at. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I have to look at the shoe and vibe out for a second. I'm not going to completely trash these things. Because at first, when I first seen shoes like the off-whites, the off-white ones, I was like, this is horrible. Now I'm dying for a pair of off-whites. The unions, I started seeing people wearing them on feet. I like the unions now, you know? And at first, I dogged the union. So I was like, ah, nah. But now I like them. But the thing I don't like about these the most, really, right now, is the price point is $250. $250 will be the price point of this. So it's an expensive shoe. This is not a cheap pair of kicks. $250. 
for these right here. Let's look at some more images real quick, guys. So we got that image, bong bong. Check it out. And we'll get to some more. There's the back, the booty, booty. If you haven't hit the thumbs up button, please do so. Don't forget we got super chat. Show that love and support for the live stream, baby. We've seen this photo. Now we got some more photos. See, it looks like it's coming with this keychain right here, too. For all you guys and ladies that love the keychain. And let's see. There's another close-up look. See how they did that right there? It's just a complete translucent vibe by the where that where the harness is connecting to the eyelets. So, you know, I think when they make these in the factory, they cut around that piece, maybe, that molding. Maybe that's why they left it like that. I don't know. Or when they make that molding piece, it may be already hollowed down in the middle. This dude got freaking gloves on his hands. <laughs> it ain't that serious, dog. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, man, I definitely want to hear the verdict on these. Are these hot or not? Leave your comments. Um, John Walker says that those off-white bread fours are fire. Yeah, I, I don't I don't mind them. And I got images I'm about to show you. They're on foot looks too, man. He says that the material on the toe box, that's what's throwing me off. Okay. He says these look dope for a BMX vibe. Not bad. All right. Nah, these aren't it. Dumpster juice. Okay, we got some trash, some trashing going on here. They put the trash can on them right now. If you like these, defend them. Don't be shy. Defend them because they're getting trashed out here right now. Indeed, they are getting trashed out here. So, yeah, I wanted to give you a look at these shoes. As you can see, you got your tag right there. And, um, yeah, man, I mean, this is the best you're going to get right now at looking at these shoes. You ain't going to get no better than this right now. And I wanted to hit you with that look. And this is straight off my blog, my personal blog, thesneakeraddict.com. Make sure you go there every morning, noon, and night like clockwork. Definitely go to the blog. You know, we post tons of sneaker information, sneaker news here to help you all out. So make sure you always go to the sneakeraddict.com. And um, let's hold on one second. Bear with me. Let's look at those Jordan 4s, the off white Jordan 4s. We looked at the unions. Now we'll look at the Jordan 4s. The off white Jordan 4s releasing this fall. What the hell? Come on. All right. So here we go with a look at them. I'm having a little technical difficulties getting this all together. So how do we feel about these? Oh, shit. Okay, we're here. We're here. <laughs> this My computer's tweaking right now. Just bear with me. I'm sorry. I think it's this program that I'm using. Okay. So here they are on foot. How do we feel about these right here? Do we like these or not? Let me know in the chats. Let me know in the comments. So you see Virgil, he went with that translucent vibe on these when it goes to that harness, going to the laces, but it's cut out in the middle. And then he's got the air on the midsole right there, translucent on the other eyelid too. And then you have, you know, the traditional flight logo right there. It looks like the midsole where the air unit is has a sail vibe. And um, on the Right, wrapping around the the shoe by the front of the upper may be reflective. I, I think that possibly could be reflective. There's a look at the back, has translucent also on it. So I was going to do a whole other video on this, but I definitely just wanted to show this real quickly. Let me know how you guys feel about it. I want to gather a few more images, and uh, we'll get to that. And also, guys, these shoes are still available now. The fire red, uh, fire red LeBron 17s, the graffitis, in the red and in the blue, which I think are both really dope. I actually really like this colorway a lot, too. I know a lot of people are feeling the reds, but the blues are pretty dope. 
For your convenience, I have them both linked in the description box below with free shipping. All you have to do is log in, and you should always log in when you're buying shoes anyway, because you want to have that extra insurance when you're buying the shoe. You want to be logged in. So buy these shoes. If you're looking for a new pair of shoes to buy, these things are fire. I mean, they're fire. Um, the blue ones are dope, and the red ones are dope. And that's linked in the description box below, along, of course, with my sneaker t t-shirts and a bunch of other stuff. Um, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, they're both going to be raffles, 100%. And we're about to get up out of here, guys. We're about to break up out of here. As I say, we go about 10 minutes, then it's up to you how long we stay on here. You got to put coins in the machine, and Delzy still hangs out. <laughs> he said, Dale, Dale, the translucent booty on the moth white. <laughs> and we're going to have that translucent on the Air Jordan 3s that are coming out. That was alternate um, cement. So we'll be seeing those too. So. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the thumbs up button. Can we get more thumbs ups? I mean, do I not deserve more thumbs ups? Please. I think I do. I hope you enjoyed this content for today and have a great day. If you're watching on the pre-play and if you want to show that love, we do have the cash app. Show that love. Send it my way. And I always get you on the next show. I always shout you out or answer any questions. So feel free. Send me a cash app. And um, it, it definitely helps a lot. Definitely, especially during these times right here. Much love. Love y'all. We out of here.